Hello YouTube, fan of gaming here, and I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play today, and it's for a f pretty stinking old DOS box game called Robinson's Requiem. This is a survival adventure thing, and it's very, very brutal. Um, I'm entering it com almost completely blind. I've played about three minutes of the game. I know how to move, I know how to punch things, and that's it. Uh, we've got some options here on the left. Uh, this is like a uh, level of detail, but it's a really old game, so... <laughs> the level of detail is pretty low. Uh, difficulty, I will be shamelessly playing on easy, because this game is horribly unforgiving. And I have no idea what this is, honestly. Here we've got some sound options. Here we've got some other things. And this is the load button. I'll be starting a new game. Now, this is the... Uh, this is the interface. As you can see, I've got my main map here, which is my point of view. Uh, I move around with the numpad, which is very inconvenient because I have to use my left hand to operate the numpad and use my right hand to operate the mouse. But like I said, I'm entering this almost completely blind. I know how to move, and that's about it. I don't know how to do anything else really and if it gets too bad I'll just I'll consult help but I think it'll probably be fun to just figure everything out as we go along won't it so I'm kinda wandering around looking for something um, I don't think I can do anything with these trees no I don't think so clicking on them doesn't do anything maybe if I click use and I click on a tree maybe maybe no. Uh, there's a guy over there, but for reasons I'm not going to explain yet, I don't want to go to him quite yet. Uh, yeah. I went to him last time I played and bad things happened. You'll see next time. Perhaps. Next time I come around this direction, I mean. Could be in five minutes for all I know. The only thing I'm worried about is that if I go to him, I might die. But if I could find a weapon of some sort first, perhaps I'll be okay. There's a map somewhere here. Where's the map? I think this is it. Yes, there we go. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to go towards it. Let's see how long it takes me to die. Oh, I can, like, look up and down, too. I don't really... I don't think it'll be too useful right now. Might help later, though. Let's look around. Let's see. Let's see. I, oh, I, I see something in the distance there. Oh, what is that, I wonder? Should I go investigate? Let me get my fists ready, just in case. It seems to be wearing clothes, so it might be... Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming at me. Okay, I think it's hostile. I'm going to avoid it, if at all possible. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm really, really worried about that. I do not want to die within the first three minutes. Oh, a rock. I happen to know that I can collect that. I don't know what I can do with it. Oh, what did I just do? Did I drop it? Oh, I see, okay. Uh, wait, one kilogram, okay. Uh, let's see, ooh, water. Oh, ah, I forgot to log off Steam. One second. All right, there we go. That was unprofessional of me, I apologize. Eh, I, th I think it has a weapon. <laughs> Maybe I can beat it up and steal its weapon, but I really don't want to die. Now, like I said, this game is very, very brutal, and it's got a horribly steep learning curve. Like most of the games that I enjoy. So, as I play more of it, hopefully I'll eventually be able to improve myself. Ooh! I think I see a fruit tree of some sort. Ah, yes, fruit. No ripe fruit. Okay, so I've got six snow white pears. Awesome! I might not starve to death, though I have no idea to tell if I'm hungry or not. L let me play around with these buttons. This is the computer button. 
Uh, I can save and load, and these seem to be my hunger, thirst, and health level bars, maybe? This is my weight, uh, how much I weigh. It seems to have the temperature, time of day, the number of day, uh, time, uh, an icon for time of day. I have no idea what this is. This is my heart rate, and this seems to be the temperature again. I'm sure I misunderstood some of that. Now, what, what does this button do? I, want, I wonder. I'd love to know. I really, really would. I think it might be, like, combining things, maybe? Using tools, perhaps? Uh, whatever that thing is over there, that is what was glowing on my mini-map. My maxi-map. If I could get some sticks of some sort, maybe I could, like, use those rocks to make a hammer or something. Oh! I saw something. Oh, it's a cave. Okay. I'm going to go in this cave, and I almost guarantee this is not going to end well. Yes, I can't see anything in there. So, something tells me continuing into the cave would be a bad idea. Because I don't seem to have any sort of light whatsoever. Alright, alright. Okay. It must be done. Hopefully this thing won't attack me. I think it's a person. It is a person, yes. Greetings, Trepliev. Welcome to my holiday cap. It's not exactly the carnival of world exploration. You'll soon get to understand the house rules here. With every man for himself. And on my territory! So get lost. Kiss off. And don't let me catch you again in this sector. My fist is a touch volatile. So get lost. Okay, uh, 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 he pulled a knife on me. Don't kill me, guy, don't kill me. Okay, he's, he's not very friendly. I'm gonna leave him be. Isn't that awesome, though? This game has, like, primitive voice acting. <laughs> and, you know, recording. It's really cool. Uh, the ground over here looks kind of odd, but I guess that's just the angles. He's still coming at me. No, he's not. He doesn't want to fight me. He just wants to, me to get the hell away, I guess. I kind of want to see if I can kill him and steal his knife, though, because that would be really useful. Some tells me he'd probably cut my arm off or something, though. Uh, so yeah. I'm kind of lost. Oh, he's coming back at me. Wait, is he even hostile? Is he gonna pull a knife on me? Hey, bro. Oh, God. Uh, he pulled a knife on me. I don't think he hit me, though. I think I'm okay. Uh, this is my health screen. And yeah, I'm fine. I'm all good. I'm all good. If I were injured, parts of this would turn red and this would be all scratched and stuff. In my experience. Which is very limited. And if you do get wounded, it, it can become infected and you can get like diseases and stuff and you can die in horrible, horrible ways. It's really cool. This is a really neat little game. Can I go up here, I wonder? Is it too steep? No, it's too steep. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. You can move while your map is open, which is kind of cool. I don't think I explored this way yet. No, I have not. I don't know if I can go this way. Oh, yeah, I can. Sweet. Alright, let's see. What's that over there? Is that another rock? It is, I think. Yes, it is another rock. Why am I collecting so many rocks? Wait, is it even rock? Is it, maybe it's like food or something. Let's see if I can eat it. I can. It is food. I thought that was a rock. I feel silly now. Okay, well. Let's look around a bit. I keep getting stuck on terrain. It's kind of weird. Uh-huh. I see something up here. 
Is this... Oh, this is where I just was. What is it? Oh, it's just a fern. Where's that guy? There he is. Uh, huh. I remember seeing another branching path somewhere. I think it might have been this way. Okay, I'm at a complete loss of what to do next. I have simply no idea. It's either going to involve me getting a knife or dying. But you know what? I'm going to go for the knife. I'm going to I'm going to try to kill the dude. I think I can do it. If not, part 1 is going to end in a very amusingly bloody and violent way, and I'll find out what I'm supposed to do for the next video. <laughs> okay, come on, dude. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I'm going to punch you. Punch you with my fists of righteous justice. Look, I'm kiting him. I'm like, punch. And get back. Punch. Punch. Oh, I killed him. Sweet. Okay. Oh, went a bit too far. There we go. So, I found his computer. I just took a battery from it. Found an empty gourd. That'll come in handy. A match. Ooh, matches. That's nice. But for some reason I can't take his knife? What the crap, game? He totally had a knife. I know he did. Seriously? I is it on the ground next to him or something? Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet, sweet. That's awesome. Okay. So, let's see if we can fill that gourd up with some water. Where's the water? I think it's, oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, don't want to swim. You can actually drown if you swim, I think. If you get tired. Alright, I got one liter of water. Awesome. And I can use a knife now, which will definitely help for what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be honest, I did not expect to kill that dude so easily. I was expecting a major challenge from it. But, guess that didn't happen. So let's let's check out this. Now I've got a battery. Negligible weight. Awesome. I like negligible weight. Matches. So I can probably go in that cave now. But I'm a bit afraid, to be perfectly honest. Alright, screw it. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to that other dude. Uh, he's not inherently hostile, but stuff happens, you see. He was right around here. There he is. I don't really understand it. I didn't actually listen to what he said last time. I just kind of skipped it. And I didn't really know why he did what he did, but he did, and you'll see. Hello. How are you? I'm not too bad. But I'm not feeling my normal self. I hope you recognize me. This is acting that at its best, five? by the way. Changed a lot in five years. Been on a lot of missions to con. Picked up a lot of dirty tricks. Here it comes again. I'm feeling ravenous. All of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that's amazing. But yes, he's turned into a horrible beast. Hell-bent on killing me. But I have a knife. Last time I had to try to kill him with my fists, and it didn't go very well. Alright. I don't think he actually has anything on him. Yeah, no, he doesn't. So what's this, though? He's got a, he had a corpse right next to him. It's kind of suspicious. What it, whoa, that doesn't look like a corpse. Oh, there's his computer, I see. I have no idea what's up with these computers, to be perfectly honest. It confuses me. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, I, th 
think it's turning slightly darker now, which means shit's probably about to get real. So, I'm guessing it would probably be within my best interest to- Oh shit, tiger. Wait, what? Tiger. Ah, screw it. Okay, I'm going to find that cave. And I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to make a fire. And it's going to be safe, and I won't have to worry about dying. I hope. I, there was... I can't remember how, but I know there's a way to run. And I would feel so much safer if I could run away right now. Oh dear. I'm so scared right now, you don't even know. I'm just gonna have a quick look around. Alright, nothing seems to be chasing after me. I'm gonna scream if something just pops up in front of me. I'm not even joking. Okay, I think... It, oh, there's water. Okay, okay. I hope there's nothing in that cave. I'm gonna be so upset if there's something in it. Oh, great, it's raining. I can't even see. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Alright, I still don't see anything in the distance, so I think I'm good. Where was that cave? Oh, th oh, there it is, I see it. Okay, please, please, please don't let there be any horrible creatures inside. The hell? I don't know what that sound was, but I am scared. Okay. I oh. Okay. I don't know what to do. It won't let me light a match for some reason. Why can I not light a match? This is just silly. Ugh, screw it. I'm just gonna go to sleep and hopefully I won't die. Oh, am I dreaming? Hello, Trevor Lev. Does I, Nina? Don't you worry. You're still asleep. But you know my telepathic powers, and your subconscious is so very easy to reach. I succeeded in landing my ship in a volcanic area. If you could manage to deactivate the force fields, we could get away from this godforsaken planet. Just the two of us. See you soon. Okay... I'm gonna slowly back out of this cave now. And hey, I'm alive. But I think I heard something just then. Oh, I think that's me. I'm probably sick. Yes, I have a flu. That's bad. Okay. Don't really know what to do at this point. Don't think it'll kill me, but it might. Wait a second. Oh, I can totally use my knife to, like, cut myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I wonder if I can use my knife to cut wood. Let's see. Ah, yes. Leaves. Sweet. Right, can I use it to cut fern? Oh, more leaves, okay. So I could probably light a fire in that cave now. I'm gonna go try that, and then... 
If it works, I'll have a quick look around. But yeah, I have a worrying flu. And pretty sure that means... Hang on. No fuel? What the hell? Ah, anyway, pretty sure that means that I will be not able to do anything quite as well. And of course it can get much, much worse, I'm sure. Let's see... Yeah. What does this do? I have no idea what that does. Anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you want to discuss it, if you want to ask me any questions, if you want to give me some hints, maybe, feel free to leave a comment or add me on Steam or send me a YouTube friend request or do all of the above because I have no time on my hands and I love talking to people who want to talk to me. <laughs> so be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to like the video, favorite it if you want to. And if you want, you can check out the game. It's pretty old. You can buy it uh, along with its... Oh. I think my flu just got better. You can buy it along with this expansion on good old games for like six bucks. It's pretty cheap. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.